Yo, what is going on, guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, a.k.a. The Clockmaster. I'm here with... Durbin! I'm excited <laughs> to be here, man. I am so excited to be on your channel. Awesome. It's great to have you here, Durbin. Durbin, uh, if you don't mind, can you go ahead and tell my audience what it is that you do on your channel? Oh, I do a lot of fun things on my channel. I, I do your typical movie reviews. I have spoiler-free ones, spoiler talks. I have a segment that I have a lot of fun with called Reading Way Too Much Into, where I like to dive into movies and do what they're called read way too much into them and just you know pull too much out of the story it's so fun and trailer reactions and all that fun stuff so i try to have a lot of fun on there awesome guys yes you you definitely need to check up uh durbin's channel link will be right up here go ahead and click it out after this video but we decided we're gonna do a little fun video for you know once um we're just gonna do something a little different here we had an idea i, I reached out to, the, uh, to durbin sometime last week and we were just talking about video ideas and we're gonna talk about our best comedy films of all time our some of our favorite comedy films so i want to start durbin i'm gonna go ahead and just go straight i have this in no particular order from from best to worst i'm just gonna list it <laughs> <laughs> and go <Yeah>. ahead. <laughs> My first one I have is Will Ferrell's Anchorman. <laughs> oh, yes. I had a feeling this would happen because it is so hard to do a list of comedies. And the moment you started listing, I would realize the ones I forgot and should have included. And Anchorman would be one of those. Yeah, that was hilarious. Anchorman was, is one of my all-time favorite movies. If I, if I see it coming on, I remember I was in forgot what i think i was in <laughs> with a senior in a no not a senior a junior in high school or sophomore in high school when i first seen that movie it was just a random movie i never heard of it before and then i was like you know what this this <laughs> this is kind of funny <laughs> it's really ridiculous and then it led on to all the other releases and the most recent ones so it's it's a, it's a great great little franchise um ron burgundy's will ferrell does a great job and <laughs> it's a hilarious <laughs> hilarious film oh i love it and i, I especially love that he reads everything on the teleprompter. So you have a typo, he's going to read it. You put a question mark there, he's got to make it a question. I, Will Ferrell's just one of those guys that once he starts going, like he's pretty hilarious. And I like Anchorman. I thought that was really good. Yes, it was such a great movie. All right, all right. So my next, mine here is Liar Liar, which I don't know if you've seen Liar Liar, but it was like Jim Carrey's heyday of his craziness, you know, like his Ace Ventura, really big, crazy, you know, the way he could go. And there was just something about Liar Liar, like when I was younger, when that first came out, it just, it had me cracking up. And like to this day, I could watch it, especially where Jim Carrey, he can't lie anymore. That's the whole premise of the movie. His kid made a wish. He's a lawyer. His whole career depends on his ability to lie. And now he can't lie. So to get out of telling the truth in one court session, he goes to the bathroom and beats himself up, smashing his head in the toilet, putting <laughs> soap in his eyes so they burn. And then him coming out to the judge and saying, I got beat up in the bathroom and I can't carry on today. And he goes, describe the man who did this to you. Uh, skinny, <laughs> gangly, and at the end of his rope. <laughs> oh, I got it. It was that movie. I think I yes. I when, when as you started listening to the plot, I started remembering everything about that movie. Uh, but it's one of my sister's favorite movies. That movie, especially you know his interaction with his kid and his wife, and oh, it's yeah. it's it's a great it's a great movie. I, I I'm gen I genuinely love uh, generally love uh, Jim Carrey movies anyway, regardless of what yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah, I, Jim I Carrey, just really he's love him. Good. He's got a range. He's got a range on him. He could do drama. He could do comedy. Yes, he, he he's such a great actor. I think I think he's Oscar worthy in my opinion. Um, for yeah. for you know in his own right, of course, but uh, definitely one of the greatest actors of this time <laughs> for sure. <laughs> So, what I had for my number two, and I don't know if you would necessarily consider this, but since we're in the realm of Jim Carrey and goons, my movie, nice. second movie, is the very first Grown Ups movie. I haven't seen the Grown Ups Wow. Movie. Oh, my God. Oh, Grown man. Ups has everyone you need in this movie. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Rock, uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin James, and then... Um, Adam Sandler, you you got everyone in this movie. This that movie, the second there's two, there's two of them. The second one is not as you know uh, good as the first one, of course. But the yeah. the first one is is amazing. It's such a great movie about family um, and talks about different you know these different uh, 
people who grew up in high school together. There were, you know, four, I think four, four or five of them, best friends all grew up together, and now they all live them. They, they kind of meet up with each other again. They're pretty much still their, their comedy, their, their comedic selves from when they were high yeah. school kids. Now They all now have families. They all have kids. They go camping. It's a great movie. It's a great storytelling movie. It's very funny. Has a great, and it has some pretty cool messages in, the, in it as well. Nice. I will definitely have to go check that one out. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Next one on my list. The Hangover. Oh. I, oh, I, I, I was like surprised. Like I thought when this movie first came out that the trailers looked hilarious. Like I thought they looked funny, but you know I wasn't expecting what I got. And so when my <laughs> wife and I went and saw this movie, we were crying in some places. We were laughing so hard. We were, we were crying. And I, I don't know what else to say. I was. It was my biggest surprise, and the sequels are some of my biggest letdowns. But, like, that first Hangover movie just had me rolling. <laughs> yeah, that, that, those, the, the casting in that movie is just so ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculously funny. Oh, Man, yeah. <laughs> look, those mo- when you go, when you start to get into those kind of movies, those crude, raw, raw humor movies, they're just so unfiltered. It's just, I mean, it's just, oh, so, yeah. it's just, it's just great. You know, it's a great, it's a great thing you can go with your best friend, as you can, in your case, your, you know, your wife. You know, you go there and you enjoy that movie. Go with a group of friends. It's that, it's that kind of movie, man. It's a great, great, great film. Oh, yeah. uh, since we're in the big goon category again, <laughs> right in the realm, <laughs> I have. I don't know if you. I don't know. I kind of cheated on this one, Durbin. I kind of cheated on this one okay. a little All bit. Right. It's kind of two for one. All but right. Ali G and the Dictator, Sacha Baron Cohen. <laughs> oh <laughs> Ever yeah. Heard? <laughs> Ever heard of I did movies? see that actually. It took me a second, and I just remembered. I did see that. Yes. Yes, Ali G. This British gangster wannabe character, Sacha Brown Cohen, does such a great job at playing these, <laughs> just, just these eccentric characters that are just out there. It's just, it's just amazing what he, and that movie is just funny, 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 funny. So one of those older films, I think it was early, you know, 2006, 2005, around there. It's just a great, to me, one of the most classic, um, crude raw unfiltered <laughs> movies <laughs> there is and along the lines of that is the dictator of course if you guys have not seen the dictator you need to watch that movie that movie yeah. he just talks about an an out of control literally a dictator that just just does whatever he wants no morals no rights that scene the very first scene i remember seeing this in the trailer he's in a race he's running and everyone's beating him and he, he calls a guy to give him a gun and shoot someone in the leg <laughs> runs past him <laughs> Tell them to bring the um, the end line closer to him and runs through it. It's just <laughs> that movie was just so so funny. The the, the standard oh, all standards were dropped in that movie. <laughs> Great film. I haven't seen the Dictator in a while, but I really did like the Dictator. That one had me really that had me going. So my next couple are kind of older, mm-hmm. but they're hilarious. So the next one on my list is Black Sheep with Chris Farley and David Spade. Did you ever see that one? I've heard of it, but I've never seen it as yet, no. Oh, I've heard Chris of it. Chris Farley and David Spade, like, to this day, are my favorite comedic duo. Like, those two together on screen is just hilarious. And so Black Sheep is basically the story of Chris Farley, who's, like, living in Washington, his brother's running for governor, and he's Chris Farley. So he's an embarrassment. But, you know, his brother loves Chris Farley he just tries to keep Chris Farley out of trouble and they send David Spade this aide to go and help keep Chris Farley out of trouble and you know you can just guess from there all kinds of hilarity ensues like they have to go hide out in this cabin in the woods and there's a bat in the cabin and if you can just picture (laughs) Chris Farley overreacting to a bat in the cabin you've got it it's hilarious oh man and then that guy is the king of physical stunts he like rolls down the side of this hill in one scene grabs a hold of this little tree he's like hold on little roots <laughs> and then it rips up out of the ground and he rolls the rest of this way down i don't know i i i thought it was fantastic oh man that that that, that i might have to go catch that one <laughs> yeah that's a good one to catch that's a good one Awesome. So number another one I got on my list too, and it's more of a recent movie. Um, stars Melissa McCarthy, and I think you may know what this one is. Spy. Yes. This movie stars Jude Law and uh, Melissa McCarthy. This movie. <laughs> I remember going to the theater with my sister to watch this movie. 
This movie had me rolling off my seat. This movie was funny from the beginning. Melissa McCarthy is such a great modern time actor. She does a great job. Just her personality is so comedic. When she's talking in interviews, no matter what she when she takes a picture, it's funny. She can she doesn't even need to be doing anything. She doesn't even she can be smiling with a nice dress on and it'll be hilarious. Like that's me. And she does a great job, man. Have you seen that movie, Durbin? Yeah, I have. It and it's. I'm kicking myself because it should be on the list I'm presenting right now. <laughs> that movie was fantastic. I just. I loved how they made fun of the spy movie with it. You know, you yes. Jason Statham in this movie. I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yes. Now I told. You know what? As you mentioned it, I totally forgot. Jason Statham. <laughs> he's like, I, I, you know, and he's giving. He's, he's giving. I can go out a tree, and I can fall. And I'll never die. I can fall on an airplane while I cut my legs off and it'll grow back. Like the most, <laughs> just the most <laughs> ridiculous things that you would ever think about. And he's, and he's really not that guy. <laughs> yeah. Like he's just, he's, he has such a big talk and he's not this guy. <laughs> so I just love, like you said, they made fun of the whole spy genre. It's, it's, it's oh, a yeah. great film. Oh, that was just such a fun movie. I totally forgot about that one. That needs to be on my list. All right. That's an honorable mention for me now because that movie was great. Oh, uh, one of the next ones on my list goes back to being an older one. But I had to put it on my list because as a kid, it was one of my favorite movies and I loved it. Actually, probably my favorite franchise, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Oh, wow. <laughs> that that was a really fun movie for me as a kid, and to this day, I still, both movies, love all the traps that Kevin McAllister sets for those two nitwits. Awesome. It is just, it is Harry and Marv going through all those little traps and stepping on glass and Marv constant. no wait, Harry, one of them getting their head burned up, oh my god, I don't know. This it's just one of those things that I love, and I, I just love all the crazy stuff that kid does to those criminals. What I have on my list, too, and I, I, I don't know if you've seen this. Maybe you, maybe you have. Um, Ro Roman, uh, Roman Atkinson, man. Johnny English Reborn. <laughs> I have not seen that oh, one. Oh, man. <laughs> but you, I you, love that for, actor, Mr. For you guys, Bean. <laughs> for you guys who do not know who he is, that he's also known as Mr. Bean. That guy, he he's so hilarious. You guys have not seen Johnny English or Johnny English Reborn. That movie's the first movie I've seen. Uh, uh, Daniel Kalua, uh, Daniel Kalua from Get Out was actually in that movie. Um, a lot younger. That movie was extremely hilarious. It's, it's a spy-based movie, and it, it's a movie where Johnny English he's he's supposedly this big MI6 spy, and you know he's there, and it, but really he's not. Like he he's so in his head. He does everything so clumsy. He would. He has. He, he. His character is known for aiming a gun at someone, and the ca the cartridge always falls out. <laughs> Every time he picked out a gun, the cartridge always falls out. He would do these weird stunts. He even trained with uh, Mongolian monks. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> the movie is so. He grew a beard out. It was. It's a crazy. It's a crazy, crazy fun, fun film. I, I saw. It's a. It's a great family film to you to watch at your family. It's a great, it's a great movie, a really great movie. I, I, I was hoping they were gonna make a third movie, but they stopped at English Reborn. Oh, it's a great man. continuation. So if you have not checked that out, you definitely need to add that to your list and check that out, Durbin. And everyone else, I, I you guys to, are I, there, you gotta check that out. <laughs> I definitely have to add that to my list because I like Mr. Bean. Like that guy is hilarious, and whatever he does, he's like, he's like the king of awkward. Yes. Like, he just whatever situation he makes it big, he draws it out, and it's so awkward that you're just sitting there laughing. And so, like, I, I gotta go check that out. And his facial expressions are one for the books. You can't get yes. you can't get a yes. better thumbnail picture than yes. that guy. No, <laughs> the guy is a walking thumbnail. You yeah. see his face, you go, "What is that?" I need to click that because I have to know wh what am I looking at. Yes, Mr. Bean's Holidays was another great movie, too, if you guys haven't seen that. So check it out, all oh, the Mr. Yeah. Bean stuff. He's a, such a great classic uh, comedy actor. Barely people, anyone really talks about him these days, and they should, because his work will live on forever, in my opinion. His work oh, that he's yeah. done over the years in Mr. Bean on the, TV show, on the TV show and in the movies is definitely something to remember. And I just love how much range of just you know comedy and emotion he was able to bring to you just without, without even saying a word. You know, Mr. Bean was not a really yeah. talkative character. He had very little dialogue. So it was it, it was oh, very yeah. impressive that the actor, you guys got to check it out. It's amazing. That's one of my favorite things about Mr. Bean. He doesn't talk. He just 
does stuff and you're sitting there like, oh my gosh, dude, you, it's just washing the dishes. Are you telling me you can't wash? Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing, <laughs> but this is hilarious. Well, my, my last one on my list, and this might be one of my favorite comedies of all time. It, it just might be Tommy Boy with Chris Farley and David Spade. Did you ever see Tommy Boy? No, I have not. <laughs> oh, I have not seen that. Tommy Boy is definitely one that you have to check out if you have not seen it. 1995, it was Chris Farley's like first real big break movie. Like He was already famous with Saturday Night Live yes. and um, you know had a few smaller roles in other movies, but this was, like, I think, the first movie that was his. And it was like the first movie that was his major break onto the movie scene and him and david spade are far better in this one than they are even in black sheep like they just work together so well and the whole premise is uh tommy boys his dad dies and his dad owned this auto parts company in sandusky ohio called callahan auto and so tommy now has to inherit this but he's a buffoon he spent seven <laughs> years in college with no real distinct major and so he <laughs> He now has to go on this sales trip his dad was going to go on to save the company. And so David Spade and Chris Farley go on this road trip. And it is the king of road trip movies. It is hilarious. And I don't know. If you haven't seen it, I honestly don't even want to spoil anything. I mean, it's just such a hilarious movie. Those two together are fantastic. And we go back to Chris Farley for the big girthy guy that he was. The, the type of stunts this guy could do, he was mobile, man. He was mobile. So, yeah, this is, it's got to be one of my favorite comedies ever. It sounds like a great buddy film. It is really a really great buddy, buddy film. film. Oh, so, yeah. I actually had two more. I couldn't really decide which one to nice. pick, but I'll just list them since you, you already list your last one. Um, I kind of cheated the, the list, guys. <laughs> it's supposed to be five, but I, <laughs> I chose a whole bunch because it was just this list was, while it was very simplistic, it was pretty hard in, deci in deciding a few of these movies. Um, this is the movie I was actually talking about earlier, Durbin, about finding the, uh, the director. Sean Levy's Pink Panther, the very first oh. movie. Yes. Oh my gosh. That yeah. movie will stick with me forever. I have it on DVD. <laughs> this yeah. movie. Oh, to man. me, I don't like I said, I don't know if you would consider it a comedy film, but you know, they can kind of consider it a mystery, drama, you know, kind of film, but I consider it to me a comedy film because I laugh throughout everything that he did inspector Clouseau. <laughs> oh <laughs> which yeah. just like, uh, to me was just hilarious i just love him as an actor i love that character a lot and the girl like who oh, could, yeah. if you see that movie, how could you not forget that <laughs> I, I know mean, <laughs> oh man i love those classic pink panther movies those are hilarious and again you've listed something that i'm kicking myself it should be on my list <laughs> Oh, man, the, the Sean Levy reboot Pink Panther movie was one of the best to me. The second one wasn't so great, but um, yeah. the first one the first one of the reboot was, was, was pretty good. I loved it. I loved the direction that it was going. And like I said, it, gave, it just gave you the, the world this, this, this guy who just wanted to really mean something. A guy who really wanted to be something in the world, yeah. make an impact, but was just finding it so hard to do that because he was just so utterly clumsy <laughs> and just yeah. you know just everything he did was just so dramatic so i love that movie it was a great it's one of the great classics for me in my childhood um plus he can't even say hamburger yes you know, that, that's just such a hamburger hamburger hamburger, <laughs> hamburger. you had to go to a lesson just to figure out how to say hamburger <laughs> <laughs> so the last movie for me and this is another one that i couldn't really figure out if it was a comedy or not but shanghai noon if you see Shanghai yes. New, Jackie Chan yes. and Owen Wilson. Yes. <laughs> Why did I not think this of that movie? movie? Why did I not think of that movie? Why did I not think of Shanghai Noon? Yes, Shanghai Noon. We're, we're adding introduction into Jackie Chan's character is this, you know, this Chinese cowboy, and the, the, the timing is just so weird because <laughs> he's in an old Western uh, time setting and he's a Chinese cowboy. But then again, it's not it's not wrong because around that time, around that era, they had a lot of Chinese um, people who were working around the in the western area so it kind of made sense but i just yeah. loved the world that this movie brought you in and owen wilson is just that guy he's just that your average <laughs> you know dude that's just you know he, he can kind of handle his, himself but he's a you know a cheap steak kind of con and you know it's i just love the dynamic <laughs> between jackie chan and owen wilson on the screen and the, you know the the 
the story of them becoming close brothers in these movies and the different journeys and adventures they go on and the fight scenes and the comedy and you know one specifically to me is when Jackie Chan got <laughs> uh, married to the Native American woman by accident. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. When he wakes up and he realizes, oh, right, I'm married. <laughs> yeah, that that movie was just. To me, look, if it's showing, it's one of those movies that, that, that end up on FX and HBO. But it's great because it's a great Saturday oh, yeah. afternoon movie, a great Saturday morning movie. You're sitting down with your breakfast or in the afternoon or you're just having a good time relaxing. It's one of those movies that are really, it's really, really fun to watch. It's relaxing. It's enjoyable, entertaining the entire time. I love that movie. It's one of the best. I, I feel like now that you've said it, I could go sit down and watch it right now. I mean, it has great kung fu because it's Jackie Chan and he yes. does all of his own stunts and it has that so that is awesome but then like you said jackie chan and owen wilson were like perfect together on screen they were just a great comedic team together owen wilson that weird kind of calm cool whatever jackie chan that angst i need to get my mission done i don't know it just works so well Alrighty, guys so i hope you enjoyed our compilation this little list that we made of our favorite some of our favorite comedy films of all time it, you know it's a great list urban had some great mentions and these movies are all great and guys you know if you guys want to check these out you have to check out these movies if you have not seen them on your spare time you need to watch them because they're really really good do not forget guys to go over and slip over to durbania please he does a great job with his videos very very informative if you like reviews you like occasional tra trailer reactions and like you said he does he's reading way too much into us uh, uh section of his videos you got to check it out man he's very very thorough with his videos so go over there like i said the link will be up there and in the description box to go over there and show him some love all right guys so thank you so much for checking out this video i hope you enjoyed it leave your comments down below what are some of your favorite comedy movies of all time let us know in the comment section down below durbin and i are um, supposed to get ready to do a power rangers uh spoiler talk video sometime this weekend guys so make sure it's gonna yes. be posted on his channel i'm very excited for that we're um i'm gonna be watching the movie tomorrow so uh Look, you know, go over to his channel on the weekend, guys. I'll let you guys know when that video comes out, man. So be on the lookout for them, okay? Guys, don't forget to ring that notification bell on your way out. And thank you for taking your time out to watch this one. Clockmaster, out. Arrow!